Lace from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be a bit of a follow up from a video that I did before called Thai Girlfriend Pay or Not to Pay. I've had a few emails from people with regard to, to that video that I did, Pay or Not to Pay. Watch the video and you'll see the, the way I describe whether you should be paying for a Thai girlfriend or not paying for a Thai girlfriend. There's many ways of calling it, but watch the video and you, you'll see my description and my way of my thinking with regard to that. Now, th the follow-up on this story is many people have said, how much should I pay my Thai girlfriend? How much salary should I give her? What income should I give her? Um, basically, that's a hard one to say. A lot of it depends on how much income you've got in the first place, how old the girl is. Uh, do you trust her or do you not trust her? I'm going to give you some examples on this video of people that I know and what they do and whether it's been a success story or whether it hasn't. Uh, the first person I'm going to tell you about uh, he's in his 60s, same as me, and he had a, a 20 odd year old girlfriend, a very pretty girlfriend and he said he was not ever going to pay her a salary so what he did he built her a house he built her house next to her family and he's now working back in his home country and he says the reason why he wasn't going to pay her a salary is because he's built this house i think in the regions of three million baht he paid for this house and he bought a truck and a motorbike and one thing and another so he's now working back in his home country she was a pretty 20 odd year old girl and um, now she's got her house built lives next door to her family happy days for the girl but the guy is still having to work overseas and because of the situation that's going on going on here he can't get back to this country so I'll mention at the end of the video as to what's going on with that one. The second story I'm telling you is about another guy that I know. He was on a, a big income because he used to work on the offshore industry and so therefore made plenty of money. And every time he had a, his two weeks on, two weeks off, two weeks off he used to spend in Thailand. Now his girlfriend again was beautiful. She really, really was a pretty young thing. And he built her a house, he bought her over a million baht car and again built the house next to her family. So he did all of this and he used to give her 45,000 baht a month salary. And when he retired and he moved over here and they lived together, then they didn't get on. It was great while he was over here for a holiday and then once he lived here full time, lived with her and they just didn't get on. She was always over her family's house and he was always home alone and to try and improve things he bought her other plots of land rubber plantations and the, the money just went up and up and up and then he decided enough's enough I'm going to leave and he got divorced from this girl so that they just grew apart when he retired and he lived over here so I'll tell you the what happened at the end of the video with regard to that situation there's also people I know that have a girlfriend who run a bed and breakfast business and uh, she gets a salary of 10,000 baht a month and uh, like boyfriend girlfriend she works in there and if she gets any tips from the from the people who stay in the guest house well then that's all her extra tips but she's on 10,000 baht a month working in a guest house now she's in the 30s as well and another story of a, of a girl that I know she doesn't get a salary but her boyfriend pays for everything else with regard to the living together so he just takes care of all the household bills the shopping bills anything that she needs he pays for and that's somebody in the 40s upwards and so basically the story is if you're an older guy and you're with a younger girl expect to pay more and because the young girls know and they're beautiful and they will have many people wanting to be with them and obviously the people with more money can attract them girls so if you're a 60 odd year old man with a 20 odd year old girl there's always going to be somebody else trying to poach that young girl off you 
unless you pay enough money. If somebody pays more money or offers more money, I'm sure they will go because they're only in the 20s. Now Thailand regards the older girls, 30 plus, as being past their shelf life. But there's still many beautiful looking girls, 30 odd year old plus. But for me, if, if you're coming over to Thailand and you, you're 50s to 60s year old, these are the type of girls that you should be looking for really, 30 to 40 year old because they're more responsible and they know their shelf life is getting less and less so therefore they're more receptive to settling down and just being happy with the person that they're with. Trust comes into it number one in my mind, if you don't trust the person that you be with then don't be with that person, move on and find somebody else that you have that trustworthy feeling with. If you found the girl that you want to be with and you want to decide right this is the girl for me set your stall out from day one of when you're making the commitment to this girl how much you're prepared to pay and um, that you're not going to take on any extra responsibilities such as there's many people have said if you take on a Thai girl you take on the family as well and in in most cases that's correct yes their family don't rely upon you because they've got their own income but some families may rely upon you being the foreigner you're going to pay everything but you make that aware to the girl that you're with that that's never going to happen in the future and if they know that from day one then you're happy but some people some men seem to think that you have to pay 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 to keep the girl happy well if you have to pay 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 to keep the girl happy that's not the girl to be with go and find somebody else that is happy with their lot, happy with their life and happy with whatever you give them and doesn't complain, moan or groan or asks for more, more, more. There, there are plenty of opportunities over here for that type of girl. The, the greedy girls who want more, more, more and the people who are just happy to be with you and happy to get a salary and happy to live with what they have. So the, the story is about the guy who built the house and the girl that ended in disaster and um, the, the guy had an affair with somebody else so the writing was on the wall then that he'd done everything that he that he wanted to do he was an older guy with a very young girl beautiful looking girl thought he was going to live in the house and live happy ever after for the rest of his life but no he, he decided he wanted to travel around and he wanted to explore other girls over here in Thailand so he, he was sort of the demise of that relationship and the second relationship, the one where he paid a 45,000 baht a month, bought her a house and a car, he got the car back, he split up with her and he's moved on to another girl. Um, because his, his pension is, is quite large because he used to work in the oil industry, he's quite happy. And since splitting up with, with his ex-wife, he's had many different girlfriends and he's sort of living the life of a of Riley where he goes and sees whoever he wants, wherever he wants, when he wants. So that's just a little follow up from the video that I did from Thai Girlfriend Pay or Not to Pay. I hope you found it useful, I hope there's some valuable information here and from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.